Welcome to the Valve Studio for January 25th, 2017. Got some work going on outside, so it's going to be a little bit noisy in here, but today's video is pretty short. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I ended up uh, working on. It's very short. Um, the, if you watched the video from before, the way the coil winder worked was to get all the way to the end of the bob and then it stopped, completely decelerating the rotation and then get in the same direction start it up again and so that made it kind of slow so it turns out that Gerbil supports this uh, uh, thing called junction deviation I, I brought the um, I brought the uh, Gerbil manual up here this this one here this uh, command number 11 it talks about how well Gerbil will go around corners and in the Gerbil world in terms of machine control this is turning a corner because the X direction is basically reversing completely but the Y is continuing to go forward. So I just changed this value. I just picked it to be 100. And now I'll go ahead and show you what ends up happening. So I have my machine control um, over here. And I've loaded up the 650 volt um, high voltage transformer. And we'll go ahead and show you what the uh, how, it, how it winds now. It's quite significantly different. I did go through and I rewrote the streaming mechanism at which my machine code actually sends uh, messages over to Gerbil. Um, the, that's kind of elaborate. Uh, the way that it looks at Gerbil's buffers and figures out look-aheads and all that. But I got that rewritten. So let's go ahead and wind up the, um, the primary, which is winding number two there, is what, uh, how many turns? 348 turns. So we'll go ahead and wind that one up. That's winding number two. So we got a zero, the, the counter down there. And we got a zero, the gerbil. We got to, you know, get our lead in. We also got to get this in the right position. So I think that's going to be fine. So let's just pretend we're going to do a winding. So what you're going to see is it's going to get all the way to the end. And then it's going to, it's, the rotation's not going to stop. It's just going to switch direction in X. I'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit. So when it gets to 63 here on the number of turns it's going to change direction. You see it didn't even stop there. So this is going to be significantly faster for, for winding, you know, like the on this particular um, transformer the 650 volt windings has 3,500 3, turns and about 17 layers or something like that. So just to be able to do this, and you won't have deceleration of your, you know, your big spool of copper wire as well. well. I got that all going, so I think I'm pretty much done now with the power transformer uh, design mechanism as well as the machine control. Uh, I think up next I'm going to talk about the, the Jupyter Notebook that I created for power transformer design and uh, we'll go from there. My next steps after that are going to be, we're going to talk about output transformers. There's a different book for that that I've been reading. It's, co it's called the, Wol the Wolpert Audio Transformers. I'm going to go through that and I'm going to figure out the same kind of design mechanism that I have for power transformers. It turns out that, you know, the significantly different thing because power transformers run at 60 or 50 hertz whereas audio transformers uh, do something else. Okay, it got done. Uh, the gerbil tells us we're at 348, 348 turns, and our counter down there, our fail-safe counter is at 348. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the Valve Studio for January 25th, 2017.